Hi, welcome to CSCN. In this video, we are going to learn about the software components. As you know that the software is a, a set of instructions that is developed by a team or the develop, developers, software developers, and they use different kinds of new and existing software components to build a new or update any existing software system. So let's uh, start learning with CCMA and if you are not subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe. Software Components Software components can be defined as the essential elements that are used to build or create a new system or provide say updation to a, an existing system. And the software components is the tools, tools or the essential elements that provides the capability to create any system system software product or it is any software system is made up by the software components and these components are of the self components full experienced components partially experienced components and the last one is the new components of the self components of the self component is an existing component that is to be acquired from the third party. Let's assume that you are about to create your websites and you don't know how to design your logo for your company. Then you can get it from other company. Then these type of components that you get from the third party that is known as the off self components. And the second one is the full experience component. Full experience component is the component that are existed on onto the other softwares and the team need to implement this component in the newer software. Suppose you all already write your notes and you need to write it on or another system, then you can easily take your notes to the other computer system by using any portable devices that could be pen drive and something else. So this type of components is known as the full experience component. And the third one is the partially experienced component. Partially experienced component is the component that needs some modifications before implementation implementing on the newer system. As we recently see that the window 8 is updated into the window 10. Then the Microsoft has only need to be perform some modifications onto the window 8 components then they develop the linear system software system that is the windows 10 so this is the example of partially experienced component and the next and the last one is the new component new component is the components that must be built by the software team especially for needs for the current project if the software team have any project to complete then he creates some new components to create that product then he they need, need to build the new components that's it these are four other components the software component that's used to build any new software system or make any modifications into an existing system thank you thanks for watching i hope you like the video